Hi, this is Daisy Dye, and I am here with Pacific Magazine and Berkeley Film Friends, and we are here on the press line for the haulers. So we are college students from UC Berkeley, and we are trying to break into the film industry. And we're just curious, what do you consider your first big break, and how did you get there? Oh man, that's a great question. So many different ones. I did a bunch of weird commercials, <laughs> um, one of which I shaved uh, a reverse mohawk into my head. Don't recommend doing that. Um, I'd say the biggest, what I remember is one of my biggest first experiences was doing the movie Kinsey. Um, and I had a tiny part in it, but it was a really fun, important part. Uh, of the movie as far as storytelling wise and for me it was hugely important because I got to work with the amazing Bill Condon and, and uh, watch you know Liam do his thing and it was just something where I felt like I was a part of something important and big and it was that first feeling of like I didn't, didn't want to screw it up and I remember the truth is I was rehearsing my lines with Liam Neeson in the trailer everything was going fine mm -hmm. and then I got in front of the camera for the first time I think it was my first movie oh, wow. and um, I just there was nothing behind my words I was just saying words and I remember Liam Neeson came over and he was the one who said what are you doing I said what are you talking about and he was like oh, when we were back in the trailer you're doing great and it was that first moment of the best work is always going to be what comes from your heart and when you believe it and you love it that's what's going to come out and, and be good mm -hmm. the moment you overthink it and you're trying to do something for somebody else It'll never be the right, the right thing. And what about this script drew you to the haulers? This script was, um, I attached myself as, a, as an actor like five or six years ago, actually. I wasn't going to direct it. And then they, um, like many movies, couldn't get their financing. So they asked me to buy the script if I wanted to and make it on my own. And, I, and you know, that's really scary. There's money involved and also a whole lot of, uh, of um, you, know, um, you know, scary uphill challenges. But at the same time, it was one of those things where, I wanted to take it on for the experience, mm -hmm. and this movie was something that was worth doing. Yeah. I think family is so important to me, mm -hmm. and I'm lucky enough to come from a really close-knit family, but even still, the fact that this family is dysfunctional, I still read the script, and I was like, oh my god, my family's in there somewhere, and I hope everybody feels that way. Would you do it again if you could? 100%. Have to. <laughs> Have to. Yeah. These are always way the, the, the better experiences. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Yeah. Good luck to you guys. Yeah.